All right, it is 6.04 in the morning. I am near the Vivian Creek Trailhead. The actual trailhead parking itself for Vivian Creek is full, so I am currently at the nearby Big Falls Trailhead. I have a little bit of a walk to get to the trailhead, probably extra half mile, no more than that. I do have a permit to do a day hike here, which is why I was surprised that the parking is completely full but now that I look at it the parking area is actually not that big. Last time I was here was about two weeks ago. I did a backpacking trip with a friend. We came on a Thursday so parking absolutely wasn't a problem. I mean there were still a couple of cars but we didn't have a problem parking like right next to the trailhead. Today I'm gonna have to walk a little bit further but still relatively close by. At least I don't have to park in a town and try to hike in. So I'm finally parked. I am going to use the very nice looking restroom here and then I will start my hike. Oh, I didn't actually mention what I was doing. San Gorgonio Mountain is the intended hike. It is longer than all the other hikes that I've done so far. I did take a rest week last week. So hopefully I'm rested up because it is going to be almost 20 miles of hiking. I'm anticipating it's going to be probably like a 12 hour hike and probably eight hours up. I shouldn't spend more than eight hours up. So it's six o'clock right now. I'll probably start at 630 after I you know, get everything situated, get my sign block on, get my mosquito stuff on. So if I start at 630. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. 3 o'clock is, again, the intended turnaround time for me to get off the mountain in time before sunset. I might push it to 4 o'clock if the rest of the trail isn't very technical. Last time I was here, I did a backpacking trip. We only got to the first campgrounds, the Vivian Creek campground. And that was, yes, it was steep, but the path was actually very nice. So I wouldn't mind hiking down that in the dark. Other than that, um, if the rest of the trail is kind of about the same, I'll, I'll push it to 4 o'clock. That'll give me, or 3.30, 4.30, that'll give me 9 hours hike up. Hopefully I'm not that slow. And then whatever progress I've made, if I haven't hit the, if I haven't hit summit, I'm going to turn around just because daylight and just generally I probably would be very exhausted hiking nine miles up so I don't think I should push it anymore. Yeah there's a chance I won't finish and I'll have to turn around before I hit the summit. That's okay this is the highest peak in Southern California so if I don't make it up to the top there's no shame. At least I tried. Uh, I'm gonna be very interested how it differs from San Jacinto Peak. I just remember when I did San Jacinto I didn't start until like 740 something. It was rough because you know, I was very stressed out from the drive and just looking for a bathroom beforehand. I'm done with the drive. It's only been like an hour. The bathroom's right there. I've seen the first two miles of the trail before, so I'm not too freaked out. And it looks like there's plenty of other people doing the hike. So I think I'll be in good shape and it won't be scary at all. There's like still cars rolling in right now to do the, the hike. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting ready and start my hike soon. All right, I am about a mile into the trail. I've wa walked like one point, one and a quarter miles just because I parked like a quarter mile from the trailhead. You know, I, I thought I would feel comfortable with this hike because I'm not packing nearly as much stuff as when I did when I went backpacking here a couple of weeks ago. It's not as hot, but it's humid. I, um, I don't really feel like I'm cooling down. I rolled up my sleeves, obviously sweating a bit. I think I think the humidity is, is part of what's different because it was hot last time, but it felt dry. It's not super hot, but it feels muggy and it's overcast. So it probably is more humid right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if this is a good run before I decide. I might end up turning around earlier than the summit if it just feels the suffocating all the way up. Yeah, I just got passed by two backpackers hauling much heavier looking packs than I have. And I don't know, I keep doing these hikes, but I, I'm not sure I'm getting any faster. <laughs> I think I have to do more heavy cross training if I want to get faster at this. It's just a nice, enjoyable day out in the mountains, even if I don't end up going as far as I want because it's been 
It's been another rough week. I applied for like another position at work and I didn't make it past round one of the interview. So I'm a little bit bummed out about that because that really did sound like a pretty exciting position. I've always liked teaching people. This new role would have expanded on that quite a bit because it's all about putting together a whole program to guide employees to self-improvement and I, I was really excited about it. Unfortunately, I didn't have as much skills in the procurement side. I might have undersold that a bit because I didn't like personally negotiate contracts and stuff, but so that might have been a mistake. I probably should evaluate my participation in that more. Anyway, that's just kind of like side talk about work, but yeah, kind of bummed out about work this week. Hopefully to work out some stuff on the hike. That's usually what works out really well. Like I could go in starting a hike feeling pretty bummed about work or life and I'll finish and just feel pretty good. Yep. I'm going to take another sip of water and then I'm going to keep going because I have eight and a half miles more to go uphill. <laughs> Okay, so I am 2.94 miles into my hike, which means I'm about 2.7 miles into the Vivian Creek Trail. The trail flattened out significantly around the Vivian Creek campground, so I've been making better time. It's also kind of easier to walk, but I am getting hungry because it's been three, four hours since I ate, so I'm going to take a snack break. I've got maple bread, orange iced tea, because uh, you don't want to get too hungry before you eat. Still have quite a quite a while to go because it's like nine and a half miles. And then there's going to be a part after, I think after the next campground, it's going to really pick up in vertical height gain again. So I'm just trying to enjoy this flatter part for now. Just enjoy nature, but mindful that I should probably keep the pace up regardless just so I'm not super tired from just standing up and being out and carrying the load. I'm starting to think I carried too much water just because there's gonna be more water at High Creek. We'll see how much water I have left that way it will give me a better idea if I have to try another attempt how much water I should start with so I'm not carrying too much weight. Start off with four liters of water plus this thing so might have over game but it's better than under gaming on water at least on a first attempt and it's gonna be hot today so I'm gonna have a snack and then I'm gonna keep going all right so I made it to halfway camp and this location actually looks kind of more like a campsite so this is the trail and then there's a sign that tells you that you're at halfway camp which is actually down this hill and there's kind of like I see two tents down there right now and it actually looks like there's flat spots for you to camp so it's super already looking more like a campsite than Vivian Creek camp unfortunately there's no water here during the summer it's only like early spring because it's a different creek than what services the Vivian Creek uh, multiple reports indicate there's no water source and people just hike up to High Peak camp get water and then come back down which is probably not ideal the next portion of the hike is going to be longer and tougher, so I'm just taking a short break right now. And I think I'm probably at least going to make it to High Creek Camp. Still not quite sure. I mean, I mean, I made a lot better time in this last segment, but it was actually pretty flat with only like a light uphill. So we will see how things goes once I actually start the switchbacks. Definitely feels a lot better than at the beginning when... I was still kind of getting used to the altitude again because it's been like two weeks since I hiked at altitude and that that uphill at the beginning is quite brutal. So I'm gonna keep going. Really enjoying the view. It's The woods are nice. But yeah, there's a lot of people hiking 
up and down. Not nearly as many people as Mount Baldy, but definitely people. So, all right, I'm going to keep going. made it to High Creek Camp. At least it sort of looks flat. Kind of rocky though. I don't see any obvious campsites, but I guess it's like a free-for-all uh, as long as you're 200 feet from the trail. All right, I am taking a break at High Creek Camp. Feeling pretty good, but the switchbacks start right after this. I did see a lot of trail runners, so that's a good sign that the trail is somewhat well maintained. For the most part, I could always tell where the trail was and the footing was pretty easy. Maybe three out of ten difficulty, some parts four or five, but very small parts. Not that I think I'm actually gonna come down in the dark, but if I had to, probably be okay for the last bit. I'm actually making pretty good t time so far because it's been not terrible climbs. I think I still have over 2,000 feet of climbing to do. For the last however many miles left. Again, making pretty good time, feeling pretty good. It's actually not as hot as I thought it was going to be, and it's been mostly overcast, so the weather is actually not terrible. It'd be nice if it was a little bit cooler, but I can't complain. The, the heat's not going to be the reason I don't finish this hike. It is humid though, but manageable, so I'm just going to take a little bit of a break. Maybe have a beef jerky or something. Then I'm gonna double check the map to count the switchbacks. <laughs> All right. Okay, here's the water source just a little bit past High Creek Campground. It goes right across the path, so really can't miss it. Looks like there's good flow. Cool. All right, spoke too soon on obvious trails. I'm not sure if this trail is this way up or this way over. So there's like a tree in the way, and it doesn't look like the trail keeps going. This direction sort of makes more sense. I'm gonna go this way and see, at least for a little bit. So it's 6.73 miles. I've got another 2,100 feet to go. It is noon right now, and the sun has come out. I'm sitting in a bit of shade right now because once you get past the tree line, there's absolutely no shade. So, debating whether or not I want to actually have lunch before I try to go to the summit. I guess if I get hungry or close to hungry, I'll eat something. But so far, the set of switchbacks right after High Creek Camp is actually not that bad. It's incline, of course, because you have to climb. But... The climb is actually pretty gentle, or maybe I'm just biased because I'm thinking about the beginning of this trail, which was pretty brutal switchbacks. Yes, there's like a couple of more sets of switchbacks before I actually get to the top, but I think if it's, if the climb is averaging like this, I, I think I'll probably be okay. Unless it gets really hot. Hopefully not. <laughs> so I'm in pretty good shape. Like I said, I was going to turn around at 3.30 if anything else. So that's still three and a half hours to do three miles and 2,000 feet of climbing. Um, I think I can do that pretty comfortably, right? Like, unless it turns into a register ridge <laughs> at Mount Baldy, then, then we might have problems. So I'm just gonna get a couple more sips of water and then I'm gonna keep going. All right, so I'm probably seven and a half miles into the trail. It is 7.88 miles into my hike. But again, I had that extra bit at the beginning from the parking lot I parked at. And we earlier crested one ridge and you could see like a whole fire burn area. And now we're back to green stuff, but the climb's getting serious. Still can't see the top of San Gorgonio. It's on top of whatever this is. 
and we're doing like little mini switchbacks to get to the top of that and then even more climbing so overall feeling pretty good doing good on time so it's just the the heat and the humidity really thought maybe it'd be like low 70s because the altitude but it's still pretty warm so probably it's roasting further below i guess i should be thankful parts of it is overcast but when the sun's out it's not as hot as last time i was here but it's it's a little bit hotter than i'd like all right i am eight miles into my hike which means i'm a little bit under eight miles into the trail so i probably have just under two miles till the peak i just ate my lunch sandwich so here's the, here's like the gear update I, I like the idea of packing an ultralight stove and having a hot meal on like a really scenic hike at, like at the peak or something but it is just a lot to set up so I did bring my ultralight stove and one pack of uh, food now, I don't know if I'm gonna cook it today just because it's a lot easier eating a sandwich or beef jerky or just a snack that's ready when I get it out of the bag so I don't know like, I think maybe future hikes I'm not gonna bring the stove because it's takes a long time when I'm on my own and then it's kind of awkward when you're hiking with people it's like just we're gonna be here for a half an hour I gotta like 25 minutes before we can eat and even if I inhale this thing it's gonna be like another five minutes so I think that's the next piece of gear I'm gonna lose and I'm I am still climbing whatever this is before even San Gorgonio and the thing is I can see peaks around here and because San Gorgonio is the highest peak in Southern California I can see like vertically speaking how many how much I have left like at least how much I have left right it's gonna be even higher than that so I'm looking at that thing over there and it's that is, a, that is very high over there that's not Mount San Gorgonio so I gotta climb at least that much more so Eh, it's visually a lot, but it's under two miles. It's not terrible. Like, overall feeling pretty good. It's cooled down a little bit because the, the sun is now hidden in the clouds again. And there's a little bit more of a breeze, so it's a bit more bearable. Yeah, just gotta keep going. Finish my sandwich. I think I'm done digesting, so I'm gonna keep going. Alright, so there's a, a lot of hikers coming down from the summit right now. According to one of them, I have 1.6 more miles to go, so when my watch hits 9.75, I should be there. And I've got about 1,200 feet of climbing to do. Not undoable, it's just progressively having already done 8 miles and 4,000 feet of climbing, a ballpark around 4,000 feet of climbing. A little, little bit, feeling it a little bit. Legs are doing okay overall doing okay but definitely a little bit more tired and the the heat is coming on and off depending on if the sun is blazing or not so i'm really thinking maybe at some point i should get one of those hiking umbrellas you attach to your backpack because just being in the shade is like 10 to 15 degrees of difference so having that all the time might be nice though there is also the weight of the umbrella itself to consider so thinking about it, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make it. Feeling pretty good. No altitude sickness. Like GI system doing good. Just had food. So I'm just going to sit for another five minutes and then I'm going to keep going. All right. I'm all right. I'm nine miles into the hike right now. Nine miles into my hike. So probably like eight. 0.75 miles into the trail it's now just kind of a rocky field it's really easy to lose the trail i'll show you basically what this looks like and then san gogonio somewhere over there i don't know not sure anymore i'm afraid to look at the map just because i'm afraid to see how many miles are left according to what some dude told me nine tenths of a mile ago it was like three quarters of a mile left probably I just can't see the peak and then there's supposed to be a sign when you're four tenths of a mile from the actual peak so I am almost there relatively speaking I'm about a four 
to a five right now on how I'm doing. The weather is really cooperating. It's overcast. It's not too cold. It's not too windy. So this is actually perfect hiking temperature. It's obviously going to get hotter as I get lower, but at least for this last summit push, the weather is great. I could do with a little bit more of a breeze, but I don't want to tempt fate because if it's windy and the wind's blowing the wrong way, then it's going to be suffering. So I'm just going to have a couple of gummy things and take about a five minute break and then I'm going to keep going. I'm just taking this as a video to myself that this is the trail that goes to Vivian Creek Trailhead. Not that one. Not that one. I'm really hoping this is the there's four tenths of a mile left sign trail. So I'm heading towards summit area. And then this is telling me that the trail I'm on right now is the Vivian Creek Trail. Let's go towards the summit. So you know something's gone terribly wrong when you have this sign telling you which one Vivian Creek Trail is. And then another sign over there telling you that that is not Vivian Creek Trail. I guess that's what they mean by people getting lost up here. That's the four tenths of a mile sign in the distance, isn't it? Which means I still got to crest whatever that is. Then summit. Eh, let's go. I, this better be the four tenths of a mile left sign. Which means whatever that is. Somewhere. I don't know. It's this trail. Let's go. That's the peak. I'm not even shitting you right now. I'm crying right now. I'm so close. I can finally see it. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. You didn't finish the summit until you write in the register. Oh, so look, someone left water. That's cool. All right, it is 6.20 right now. I have five more miles to go to get to where my car is parked. I'm probably not going to beat sunset. But once I can probably get as far as Vivian Creek and by that point it'll be like not terrible. So I just need to get out of, actually I probably just need to get to um, midpoint camp and then I think I'll be good. Originally wanted to go to this ranger program at Barton Flats, like near Barton Flats. They have an outside amphitheater thingamabobber that starts at 7.30. I'm not going to make it, which is too bad, but it's okay. It was a good hike. All right, I'm 17 miles into the hike, which means I have about two and a half miles left. I passed the halfway camp, so I'm on my way to Vivian Creek Camp. Hopefully get there soon. When I get there, I'm gonna set up my headlamps just to make sure I'm prepared for it because the sun has already set mostly past the mountain here, so I don't want it to be pitch dark when I have to set up my headlamp and then I'm uh my watch actually also ran out of battery so I'm tracking the rest of my hike on my Gaia app so that'll be the last two and a half miles on that one So it actually got brighter because I passed one of the mountains that was blocking the sun. So I think I'm going to make it with the light I have now. I mean, at this point, I, th I think I'm just going to have enough sun because there's an opening. And then when I get to Mill Creek, there'll be nothing in the sun's way. So I think I'm going to skip the headlamp and just book it. Wow, look at that sunset. All right, I'm crossing the river crossing now. So I'm home free. Woo, beat the sunset, sort of, kind of. Beat the dying of the light, I guess. <laughs> All right, I'm back at the parking lot. Not my parking lot, I'm back at the Vivian Creek parking lot. So I still have like 
probably two tenths of a mile to my car, but I made it. So I didn't have to whip out the headlamp, thank goodness. <laughs> I made it. Climb Mount San Gorgonio. Woo! All right, I'm gonna pay attention to where I'm walking now because it's kind of dark. <laughs> I swear to God, my watch is lying. There's no way I've only burned four, 432 calories. <laughs>